so good morning all last friday we were discussing about the cross join and then related function unfortunately we end up with some errors anyhow so most of the people were also not joined that day let me repeat these two and move to the next topics okay only we discussed only this much only in the last friday cross join and then related so yeah cross join is nothing but if it is a like uh, you want to join two tables let me open power bi 9th may time intelligence and open it ah, the sound is coming check when yeah so very simple whenever you want to join the two tables but uh, assume that we don't have the common column then we need to use the cross join function and uh, i think if you see this one the cross join i simply taken the cross join of i'm telling that two tables if you want to see the what is the employee table that is see this one this is the only simple table department table underscore d and employee underscore d also there is a two table i mean one more table employee id employee name so what i want is i want to bring the one more extra column here like a department name that department name from the different table the most important thing here is no common column between both the tables no common column between both the tables i'm repeating look at the employee underscore d table dummy table and uh, do we have department id here go to department table underscore d table do we have anything called here key column here no right but if you go to the cross join now see the output of the cross join so this is what we discussed already if you want i will type it one more time also the cross join function will expect to so, yeah force it in the sense like yeah, we are trying to join the both the table, but without any common column. So it will give the maximum probability, like a probability in mathematics formula. For example, what is the table name? I'm telling employee underscore D table, comma, department underscore D table, and uh, close it. So now this is what about the cross join functionality. And uh, if you take the first set of records, first set of records one two three employee table and again the same set is repeating employee table only the four times repeating why because we have the four values in department table if you have the one more value in the department table then it would, be, it would have been the repeated one more time for example let's order by employee id one second right click and ascending order now see this one if you take any one employee the maximum probability he can join into IT department or admin department or HR department and testing department. That is what about the cross join functionality. And uh, leave it everything. Just take a scenario. You want to join the if customer asking one more column from the different table, which is doesn't have any relationship. Then simply go with the cross join. Okay. So now but make sure that the output of the cross join would be table so you need to go to the modeling and click on the new table then write this query the next one is related functionality or related function this also i'm taking a new table for example table 2 okay listen carefully uh, first i will show you the scenario Take an employee table. Take an employee table. Now let's say I want to filter only these two records. The criteria would be select all the records from employee table. Understand very carefully. Select all the records from employee table where department ID equal to 101. 
is it possible tell me then I'm adding a new table I hope you got my requirement my requirement is very simple I want to get employee table data but wherever department ID equal to 101 tell me the formula for this one which function I need to use it you understand the requirement Priya or uh, Abhay and Midun. I want to filter table data and I want to pick only department ID equal to 101 which function I need to use it see keep in mind whenever table level if you want to filter it blindly we need to go to the filter function very clearly I spend almost like half an hour time on this only two function here yes or no filter used to filter data at the table level and calculate function will be at the column level so I'm table level I'm using I need to use a filter function now what is the table you're trying to filter employee table based on what is a expression department ID equal to 101 and close it are we getting or not so this is straightforward already know it but what is the meaning of related is nothing but to retrieve the related information from other table also what is the meaning of other table the, I will tell you so now let's say let's say look at the department table now look at the department table now in this table we have a department ID correct when we have the common column between employee table now can we join these two columns department ID from the employee table let me take the this one this this is what I'm talking this is the employee table we have a common column here and this is the department table here also we have the common column by joining these two tables we can get each employee name belongs to which department Aram say we can get it yes or no so my requirement is same thing get me all the employees where department ID equal to 101 just now we have seen but what I sometimes what will happen I don't want to filter the data based on employee ID column I want to filter the data based on related department names for example instead of 101 I want to give the IT let's say uh, and the filter kind criteria what I'm going to do I'm going to give as a department name department name equal to IT something like this is it possible yes possible if it has relationship between both of them yes so now listen the same expression I'm just going to modify a little bit and I'm going to table number two here I don't want to pass employee table department ID I'm going to different table called department table see now it is not allowing at all when I trying to filter the department name it is not allowing me auto intelligence is not coming because we we have to force it that this employee table having a relationship between the department table so now let's say I need to use a related function now see immediately the three column I, I have not nowhere I mentioned like a department I, I not even type the DEPT it's showing as a three here listen carefully listen carefully I want to filter the table data which table I want to filter employee table only what is my requirement I want to pass the the column which is there in the secondary table or some other table then the table name is department table which is not allowing me the moment when I take related function now see I have I not even type a D also it's automatically pop up like a DEPT table and those two columns from the, that particular table which means why not it's showing as a fact table some other tables because it doesn't have a relationship only these three columns or these two one table is having the relationship between the employee table that's why showing up so now scroll down and select whatever the column you want press tab button and equal to this is what we made a blunder mistake that day we need to close it here that is the only mistake I have done in the Friday we need to close it and then equal to what is the value like IT and again we need to close one more bracket now you will get it still I'm getting the same result 
you may be wondering sir it's maybe previous value yes previous value let's change the value let's say admin department is it changing here 102 look at the 102 what is the 102 here is it admin or not now let's say if i make it as a testing department will i get 103 supposed to get it if, if it if pass is a testing we supposed to get the 103 now let's see So this is very 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 important related function also okay and save this one anyone has any questions now okay so now we have like many functions under filter criteria for example all function and then all accept all accept functions and is filtered okay and is cross filtered there are many functions available and at least i will try one function today and then we'll move to the we have like uh, many functions under time intelligence functions okay so as part of our training the next function would be all what is the understand of the all function First, I will give you the scenario, then we will understand. Listen carefully, please. Close everything and try to understand. I am taking a new page. Uh, let's say, let's say, we will take the same bar chart. Anyone has any questions meantime? No. I am taking the sales amount column. Maybe like for example, I want one more table like geography table. What is the use of recent sources? I no need to type the one second credentials. I will go with the same country wise uh, sales amount because that is a one table which is very good familiar if I say any scenario you will easily, easily understand fine so I have geography table and country wise we have it if you have any questions please unmute and talk to me don't type it in the chat window okay so let it be your yeah, data labels also let me enable make it as a thousands Fine. so if you understand this one then next will be very easier so what I want is if you see the values if you see the values okay what is the total sales amount can anyone tell me what is the total sales amount take a card and take a what is the measure I should take sales amount measure right uh, this is else amount. This is what the total value. The total value. If you want to see the exact number, then uh, make it as a automatic. Add is a value. Data label. So this is what the total value. The total value would be something called 29 uh, million, I guess yes or no 29 millions available total sales amount out of 29 millions we got only let me convert this also into millions you will easily understand uh, data labels instead of thousand convert this into millions so out of 29 millions out of 29 millions only from us 
we are getting almost 10 millions 9.39 million sales amount and Australia we're getting another 9 millions so almost like here like 18 18 million correct or not out of 20 and 18 million girl the only another rest will be like 10 million data we are getting from rest of all the countries which means what is a profit percentage from these two countries or uh, what is a contribution because of which country let's say this country if you want to get as a like each country wise okay percentage of the profit you getting my point or not something i want to share contribution of the because of which country we are getting more profit let's say the total value is this much from only us we are getting this much so can't we get the percentage how much percentage we are getting only from this us approximately how much closely 30 percent around 30 percent from only from us we are getting another 30 percent we are getting from australia maybe another two three percent or five percent we are getting from uk and uh, this canada we are getting very less percentage so that is what my recommend now that is what my recommend now for that one let me take a one simple tabular report and anyhow take all, always tabular report then is very easy for you to understand sales amount based on country wise we are discussing right go to grid option and uh, try to change the font and uh, what is the color like a bold header don't summarize all it is there so this is what the value so now i'm going to add as a extra column that is what is my intention my intention is very simple here whatever the current value australia value divided by the total value yes or no so now tell me how can i get the total value now if you want to get the total value we have been spending almost 10 10 days of time only on the new measure new column I want to get the total value of that particular sales amount column. So my recommend is very simple. Sales amount divided by total sales amount. Tell me the measure now. Ah, average, whatever you may be. Can anyone unmute please? Midun, I think you might have done in the Excel file already. Tell me Excel formula, at least we will try to replicate here. Okay, new measures. Anyhow, we have to go for the new measure. And let me give the proper, uh, let me give the decent value. For example, total sales amount, okay. Equal to sales amount, okay. Oh, direct average, is it? Average of sales amount okay fine this is what you are recommend is it okay let's enter it the total sales amount i put as like this maybe a last this is what the measure and i'm taking like this Is it giving right answer or not? Then how can I get how can I get my recommend? First thing is we will go one by one. Okay. <clears throat> First and foremost thing is we will concentrate on the how to get the total values. So you might be thinking, Bala, we need to go for the sum. Yes, I agree. We need to go for the sum only and click on the sum. If I go for the sum, see this will work. This will work when I don't have the country name. See, this is 100% will give the total values. The both are giving the same values. 
what are the columns showing normal sales amount and some of total sales amount also will give the same values but when you are taking any category category means any group by column the value will be ignored or expanded based on the your column values that is a known issue that is a known issue now tell me how can we overcome this problem so i don't want i don't want this ninth 9 million here here also i want to always display as a not average as of now my recommend is very simple i want to get the total value for each line items yes doesn't matter here always always i need to print this value for each row level also so that is where the filter functions very very handy now select this total sales amount listen carefully so i'm going to force it take the sort total sales amount whatever at the total level like all all means what across all the values what is all values here australia canada france something like this so can i use calculate here because we are deriving a column right obviously we need to do the calculate function Calculate what is the expression sum of sales amount then use the all function What is a table name or column name? You can mention the column name also Or you can mention the table name also like dim geography Comma, what is the column name? English country region name will you agree or not? English country region name and close it you can give you can expand like this you can see this one make sure that all the brackets are closed we need to close one more click and enter it multiple table arguments are not allowed in the all or this one let me check yes here also showing clearly syntax problem only is it giving right value or not so that is what the advantage of the all function the all function is clearly indicating always even though we are in the country level total sales amount don't display country level totals take it from the all level all level means like all the values total all the values total would be this one that is what I'm clearly mentioning here total sales amount Take the sum of sales amount at what level what granularity we are in indicating that all level all level let's say if you want to exclude any of the value let's say i want to take everything but except australia so 29 minus 9 million then can i use one more function all expert is there let me try this one let me yeah we need to give the table name I don't want to deviate this topic again it will go to the syntax error let me finish this one now is good now we are getting as a total sales amount now what is next column we, we would required sales amount divided by total sales amount let me give like this more space let me add uh, borders the third column a uh, third measure I would require new measure like uh, I'll go with the same name let me check the names sales amount this is the sales amount right so that sales amount is nothing but we calculate sum of sales amount sorry close it comma yeah we need to divide it by total sales amount right what is the column name total sales amount on and close it what is a measure two I given I haven't given the proper naming that's okay take a measure two is it giving or not 
it is almost giving if you ask me is almost giving for example order by sales amount you will understand now see this one only from uh, us we are getting 32 percent australia we are getting 32 percent if you suppose to get 100 percent right if you sum it up everything it is giving the value but decimal values so now what i want to do i want to do is a uh, like yeah so let me rename this one can we say profit by country okay profit by country i'm adding one more let's listen carefully new measure let's say profit by country percentage so what i want is same measure you can take it profit by country can we say into 100 let me try this one there are many ways here there are many ways to derive a so is it giving pro proper value or not so if we sum it up 100 here so this is what real time we use it usually real time this this is how we need to use it for example customer will ask me asking like this so can you get this profit of the only for the what is the profit we are getting only from this us then how much percentage you are getting 31 percent sometimes they don't want to percentage in the column level they want to display can you please display percentage before the value yeah some something like this let's see how many how many you guys will be helping me so the next requirement would be customer asking add a percentage for each and every value can anyone help me on this one try at least it doesn't mean that you have to give the accurate answer at least tell me the option bala go this option try that one something like this at least see how many of you remembering these options oh you want me to add new measure okay fine or we'll modify the same measure what is there so what i want is i want to add the personal symbol before to the value double quotes okay and so the personal symbol this is what you are suggesting right okay now see the values is it giving the personal symbol it is almost giving the only problem is the number is coming in the decimal point can we restrict the decimal values now <laughs> tell me now left or right function why can't we use round function now now keep in mind listen carefully i will remove this percentage symbol no no wait wait a minute i don't disturbing this one instead of that one instead of that one i'm going to have a one more column listen carefully the profit by country see in country equal to maybe our underscore new i'm just giving one more because all same name we can't give right so <clears throat> now i'm trying to derive the same value trying to derive the same value profit by country okay so what is the formula for this profit by country the sales amount divided by total sales amount let me trying to add the same one sales amount divided by total sales amount let me add uh, to avoid the confusion let me try percentage profit by percentage new column i'm adding so it is a known issue because we are not taking the proper way we are not taking the calculate should be there right calculate of sales amount sum of sales amount oh sorry i taken the wrong measure
yeah yeah i'm extremely sorry you need to take the sum of sales amount what is the sales amount close the bracket divided by this one we got the new measure also now is getting both the values i mean both the values are same both the values are same in the sense i have not done anything new here see column name is different but ultimately both are using the same expression only both are using the either profit by country this one profit by country or profit by country new both are using the same one now what i'm going to do uh, there is a option here there is an option select this measure okay select this measure go to modeling there is a percentage symbol here i'm repeating one way of adding the percentage symbol would be select the column name and add the into 100 also automatically you will getting 0. Point, i mean 32 point something like this if you want to showcase let me add this one as well forgot about personal symbol okay so now this is very straightforward the sales amount divided by total value we are getting 0 0.32 if you want to get the 31.99 98 what i'm doing here into 100 into 100 i'm doing and then we are getting this value so instead of doing into 100 still i can get the, this 31.98 that is what i'm trying to convey you guys now close this one okay profit by country also close it this new i think everyone understand i'm just taking a simple sales amount divided by total sales amount now go to the modeling there is a percentage symbol click on the percentage symbol see the value here we no need to do anything here we no need to do anything automatically to do the into 100 nowhere the the formula is changed here formula is not changing only the format gets changed here only for this measure the formula gets changed we are selecting as a into 100 automatically and then percentage symbol also is displaying as it is let's say you don't want decimal 98 make it as a zero now see this one only 32 rounding to the how many decimals you want that is what about the the percentage symbol the format option you might have known data types already even you know the percentage also but you may not be realized that if you click on the percentage symbol it will get you automatically into 100 in the percentage symbol clear guys anyone has any questions till now this all function you can use it wherever you want not only for this 90 percent cases it will help you to derive the because always will be the percentage will be very very important right doesn't matter last year this year percentage or last quarter this quarter last quarter this quarter for example i will give you one more example with the help of why it is not saving okay so i'm holding on the filter functions still we have many more today i would like to jump back to the date and time i mean time intelligent functions we discuss about the what is ytd functions dates ytd and qtd mtd i don't think so anyone tried these functions so whatever ytd will give dates ytd also will give the same result but there are slight difference anyone tried this one okay fine so then after we understand about the opening balances closing balances so i'm just going to the same uh, table report like uh, so this is what i'm talking about we understand all the functions about the closing balances closing balance is nothing but end of that current month whatever value we have it it will display as it is if you talk everything you will get mad okay fine yes so let me remove this matrix and show you once again so this is what 
yearly by sales amount we have it now whenever adding the all the years you will get the all the years data i have a simple slicer whomever attending only today for them i'm just explaining whenever you want to add a quarterly level data then how can i get the quarterly level we have a quarter new just add it so each year each year we have four quarters data will you agree or not that's why the one record has expanding into four records now same way next granularity would be month wise english month name data so you can see clearly this is what the like month wise data one quarter we have three months second quarter third quarter and fourth quarter the same amount will be split into monthly level data like this you can add up to day level also day level also so the next function would be let me add it this one let me see how much we covered only closing balances correct dax functions in power bi dax functions yeah the time it legion functions as you can see dates add dates between dates mtd end of month end of the month end of quarter end of year first day yeah as you can see here next day next month next quarter next year this is a set of functions and same way similar to next also we have a previous day previous year previous function and also same period last year and there are a couple of important functions this already we have discussed yes or no let me list out here the next order would be yeah same period last year function and uh, parallel maybe spelling mistake parallel period okay arrears parallel period function the next category would be next day what is the function next day yeah next month uh, next quarter is there and next year so instead of next there is a concept called previous sorry notepad yeah 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 i will share this notepad don't worry tomorrow i will share because tomorrow we will try to close the batch and then let's see okay so next this is the order probably i will take another 850 now another 20 25 minutes okay we will try to cover this 10 functions if time permits then let's see we will move to the next topics so very simple yet same period last the name itself clearly indicating if you want to get for example maybe something when we talking to our friends also you will say right last year by the time i was in hyderabad you getting my point or not last year by this date i was in uh, us or uk something like this so we are comparing right now the current year 2018 2018 i am holding like a 7 millions value in my account 7 millions but you can compare right last year i was having 6 million so this year i'm holding a 7 million then what is the gross margin here 1 million something like this so if you want to get the same 
same period last year what was the value then we need to go for the same period last year function and parallel also will be same but parallel period will give the more parameters you will understand okay i will show you first blindly i'm adding blindly i'm adding like uh, same period last year i will copy this function m underscore same period last year now it's it's clearly showing that it's asking only date is nothing is asking nothing is asking then our job is very easy full date alternative key and close it okay so but you will end up with uh, let's let me add the extra column here so m underscore same period last year where is the same period last year mm, yeah so this is a one because we are not taking some anywhere right yes or no so what we need to do so this is a filter criteria we are telling that same period last year so then take the calculate like uh, sales amount sorry sum of sales amount tab and close it yes so maybe something we does not require Mm-hmm. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Full late alternative key. It should be fine, I guess. Enter it. So now take this one. Same period last year. Now, when we are discussing with the last year, don't no need of month level granularity. Remove the month. So now is very clear. Data is very very clear. even remove this quarter also so now see this one select 14 and 13 also is very really clearly we have a data starting from 2011 because i selected only 2011 here 2010 i don't have any data that's why it's a blank now when i go to 2012 look at this value and what about this value 6852489 is it matching with this value So simply, the previous 2011 data will display under 2012. 2012 data will display under 2013. 13 data will display under 2014. 14 data will come under 15, but we don't have the data for 15 here. Anyone has any questions? Simply, a previous year data, for example, 2000 under 2014 row, go to 13, take the value 16044, it will simply display here. That is what about the same period last year can we add one more like uh, what is the current value minus this value can we get the gross margin here tell me then formula new measure like uh, gross margin yearly equal to So if you observe or not, I have been using each and every time sum of sales, sum of sum of sales, sum of. Do we have any measure related to that one? Now go and check here. Any measure we have sum of sales, sum of. I can take it as this. So first I will create one measure. Okay. So what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, one second. Ah, uh, here I will give you as it like a total sales amount equal to sum of sales and close. This measure I will use it going forward. New measure. 
so what is my intention i'm adding as a gross margin here so what is usually what is the sum of sales amount current year minus last year sales amount or whatever you want whichever you feel comfortable like i'm i'm telling that m underscore same period last year same period last year minus yeah why not let me check what is there if it is wrong we will see m underscore total sales amount total sales amount in the sense now enter this one it's working fine it's working fine the gross margin yearly basis now add it like this is it correct or not so this year this year i got 5000 or 5 million or 5 million something yeah 5 million last year we supposed to get a 6 million okay the value is positive because i given as a last year minus this year let's say if the customer asking if if you if you getting less value compared to last year i'm repeating once again the current year value let me give the naming conversion one second Are you guys are getting confused m underscore m underscore total sales amount mm, where is that this one current year sales amount so current year sales amount where is the current year sales amount here it might be down uh, alphabetic wise is taking like this so remove this sales amount now the current year value this much and uh, previous year sales amount same period last year m underscore same period last year i don't want this one previous year sales amount I'm giving the proper naming convention here so that you guys can easily understand now current year sales amount this one at the same time what is the value for the previous year so always good to have the 80 numbers when we are in the loss actually if you see the 2012 the current year only have 5 million but last year 2012 I was having 6 million but obviously we are less value right this year so the let's change the formula then so grass margin yearly grass margin yearly just remove this one first to go over the current value minus so m underscore m underscore previous year value and enter it maybe order by is taking up so now see this one whenever getting the less value compared to previous year current year 5 million last year 6 million if you do the minus the value is going for the negative symbol here value is going for the negative symbol here so you can understand wherever negative symbol is there can we add some colors here can you do the some conditional formatting try it out already we have discussed so this is what about the calculations mainly real time these kind of calculations will be done what is the current year sales amount and last year sales amount and comparison between the both of them and you will get as this one even can we get the percentage how much percentage we lost this year last year 6 million something listen carefully last year 6 million something this year only 5 million so we lost almost 1 million that particular year then what is the percentage loss here tell me at least formula here Mithun, can you please turn me and tell me I want to get the last percentage here. How much percentage we lost it compared to last year? Yeah, it will be like, you know, uh, new measure and... Uh, yeah, 100% current... we have to go for the new measure. I agree. I'm adding as a new measure. So let's say... Uh, Profit or loss percentage by year. 
okay equal to tell me midan go ahead uh, current year divided by total sales amount current year sales amount okay divided by m underscore previous year correct very mm. good enter it so the name is profit or last percentage by year uh, we will take this one as well let me remove this grass margin just for our understanding okay so is it giving right value let's say let's say yeah please go ahead yeah multiply by 100 multiply by 100 no <laughs> so here the mathematical formula is very very important mathematical formula is very very important simple only what you need to do you need to change the first you need to change the formula here try and let me know tomorrow because if you continue this one i can't cover as per my plan now so i'm moving to the next function that is called as a parallel period so let's say before going to parallel period the same period last year we'll talk about only the this year last year will you agree or not let's say here nowhere we have the parameter nowhere we have the parameter which can give us the comparison between this year and last two years back or uh, last month and this month i will show you one example like uh, parallel period or uh, first calculate calculate m underscore what is the formula we created here total sales amount okay fine i will go for the sum only sum of sales amount take it as a parallel sorry where is the parallel period the second one the parallel period listen carefully it is asking the date column till now we know already full date key and number of intervals you want let's say the same example i'm trying to achieve same example in the sense same period last year same period last year i'm trying to achieve here so number of number of interval means for example minus one and the interval is by default it has a month quarter and year month quarter and year when i say year close it let me remove this uh, okay one second remove this one and add one more measure which we created just now i think measure to something like this see now is it giving the same value like a m underscore previous year sales amount or not obviously it will give because the function is different function is different but the output is same the my recommend is very same one recommend i am using multiple functions here one recommend I'm using multiple functions so but only advantage when you compare to the compared to same period last year function the only advantage is it has like more intervals and more number of uh, like intervals also which means select this one one second so I'm just entering this one nothing else if we remove this one let's say if you see this one the number of interval number of interval is nothing but instead of minus one if i say minus two okay comma year now let's see the magic here now click on outside see now see as we know that we have value from 2011 12 13 4 days 2011 if you ask me previous 
two years back what is the sales amount 2009 i don't have any sales here I, i'm sorry not this one this one two years back i don't have any sales this one two years back i don't have any sales because 2012 supposed to get me 2010 data i don't have any value but coming to 2013 two years back 2011 what are the value 6852 6852 is this showing or not but but if you go to previous year like the uh, same period last year we don't have any option here we can't navigate to the two years back three years back and all here only the name itself indicating same period only last year only the if you want to like go to two months back three years back or four years back then we need to use the the function called parallel period anyone has any questions till now also it will ask you to add a more parameters granularity you can go to up to quarter and then month level also let me show you let me show you i'm adding one more yeah yeah we can copy it also for example measure two let it be calculate sum of sales amount close it parallel period date column full date alternate key so minus one only but this time i will go for the month interval like month whenever analyze the month wise make sure that make sure that we have month level data yes or no let's remove everything take a only 2012 data listen carefully when i go for 2011 2011 data this is a normal month by sales amount we have it let me add couple of more measures which we could just now measure two i guess what is the formula for measure two minus one last month data when we are in january we know that we don't have the 2010 data so supposed to display 2010 december data which doesn't know i mean which don't have the data see this one the previous month data we are displaying like this anyone has any questions till now what is about the parallel period and same period last year and let me know so like this it will try the quarter also that is what about the let's say if i go for the minus three or four months something like this you will get this one thing first three months it will be empty because when we come to april only you you can get the three months back data three to three three to three the value will match it so now anyone tell me if i go for 2012 let's say if i select in 2012 here and check this 2011 will i get the jan data or not why see when i go to 2012 january let's say this is 12 12 january supposed to get me december data here right anyhow minus three months minus three months means supposed to get me the 2011 october or november data you will get it see here you will get it see but if you see it is to be actually six double five is nothing but let me change it you will understand let's say minus one now this value 636 is nothing but 2011 december value if you want i will show you see this one 636 will you agree or not this value will come here when we have the more values then you will understand right 2011 2012 data so that is what about the difference between the same period last year parallel period so please practice it I'm taking another 10 minutes of time and I will try to complete these functions as well. The next one is next day, next month, next quarter, next year. I will be discussing next year. Okay. To be today only. And today only. Rest all will be homework. Home nothing is there you need, you need to change the parameter and you need to analyze the data okay so the next one i'm taking is 
या न्यू मेशर लेट से एम मंडल स्कोर नेक्स्ट ईयर इक्वल टू कैलकुलेट सम ऑफ सेल्स अमाउंट कामा नेक्स्ट डे नेक्स्ट मंथ नेक्स्ट क्वार्टर नेक्स्ट ईयर आई एम टेकिंग इट विल आस्क यू डेट कॉलम फुल डेट ऑल्टरनेट की ईयर एंड डेट सी द पैरामीटर प्लीज रिटर्न से नेक्स्ट ईयर ईयर एंड डेट व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ईयर एंड डेट इज ऑप्शनल टू बी हॉनेस्ट एंड क्लोज इट See, name itself indicating, right? It will not, no need to pass any intervals here because we are indicating year. What year? Next year. So, take the M underscore next year. Remove this measure to M underscore next year. Upper, okay, yeah. okay so before discussing i'm copying this value adding one more measure yeah previous year that's it previous year previous year So remove this month level. We don't require it. Okay. Next year. Remember the score previous year. This one. So this is what about the next year? Let's say. Let's say if you look at this one, 2011. What is the next year sales amount? 2012 value right next year that is what this 5836 this value next year value will be come into the up here and this 16 million will come as the up next year values right that is what about the next year the opposite to next year is nothing but previous year so previous year the current year if we take as 2011 the previous year we don't have any value 10 value and coming to 2012 what is the previous value value This value, right? Six, eight, five, two. This are, is this coming as same or not? Same way. Keep in mind whenever analyzing the next quarter value, next month level, day level, please take a respective column. Go to the month level, then analyze the next month value. So, is all we completed? As part of training, all is completed. I don't know how much you guys understand. Okay. So next. couple of minutes maybe tomorrow first half an hour we'll discuss one or two filtered as i told you there are lots of functions guys okay but i given you almost majorly used ones so let me even we have a important functions in the under filter category only date add function dates between function these two are very 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 important high priority functions because sometimes sometimes the customer asking here bala can you please display here only the current month what is the orders i'm getting this can be possible right for example when we publishing something or when we working with the client location or when or whatever we are doing something for the client right or as part of our improving our business customer always wants to know how we are performing in the current month So here, what I want to display? Only current month, how many orders? We are just like a 20 orders, just like a 20 orders. What is the dates we need to pass it always? Current month, starting date, day one to till date. This this measure parameter always should be dynamic, starting from the current month. If you go to next month, automatically it has to go to July first. So for that reason, we need to use a dates between function always should be month of first date i hope you understand end of the month how do you get it we have a date uh, something we have functions what is the function name 
eve end of the month or we have a now function or today function to get the current timestamp so we need to use it those string and we need to get the dates between dates between always should be month first to end of today all right then so i'm stopping here tomorrow we'll try to finish the batch not try to finish 100% we can close it rest will be up to you guys how advanced level you are going almost i covered as a more than 100 function i guess not 100 at least 70 80 functions yes or no security i think some people already attended we will plan on that part and we will discuss don't worry anyhow i need to go now i'll be stopping see you tomorrow and we'll discuss everything tomorrow